transpiration and datation. In this topic we shall learn about the role of opening and closing of the stomata in transpiration. Gatation The difference between gatation and transpiration. Transpiration All the angiospermic glands we see around are generally green in color. A transverse section of the leaf shows an upper epidermis with a few scattered stomata. Next layer is made up of elongated cells called palisade cells below which are the spherical spongy cells. The spongy layer ends in a single layer of cells called the lower epidermis. The lower epidermal cells show many stomata. A closer look at the stomata shows an opening called stomatal pore. Surrounding the pore are two kidney shaped structures called guard cells. During the day, the guard cells move away from each other, thus opening the stomatal pore. Once this pore is open, water in the form of vapor is lost from the stomata. This process of loss of water in the form of vapor from the stomata is called transpiration. But in the absence of sunlight, a reverse process occurs. The stomatal pore is closed. The process of transpiration stops. Hence, during the night, transpiration does not occur. Gutation While the loss of water in its liquid form by a plant through specialized pores on leaf margin is called gutation or exudation. A brief comparison between gutation and transpiration shows that gutation is a process in which water is secreted through pores called either toads. Whereas in transpiration, water vapor is released through the stomata. In gutation, the water excreted contains minerals. So, on evaporation leaves a white residue, but in transpiration there is no residue seen. Summary Process of loss of water in the form of vapor from the stomata is called transpiration. While the loss of water in its liquid form by a plant through specialized pores on leaf margin is called gutation or exudation.